When I started, it's a bit special because I studied sports. We are both sports instructors with university degrees in sports. And in sport, one of the limiting factors is oxygen uptake. See, in all endurance sports, oxygen uptake is, uh, is a limiting factor. So the first protein that I studied was hemoglobin, my own hemoglobin. And the idea was that I might find something that could help to improve uh, oxygen uptake during exercise. Well, you could not, under no circumstances, understand how proteins can perform their different functions if you don't know the three-dimensional structure. You, you mentioned proteins regulate everything, but do you know that your hair is protein? Yes. And your skin is protein? And you know that the proteins in our body are in solution? Now imagine if your hair dissolved in water. That's what other proteins do. See, most proteins in our body couldn't work if they were not dissolved in water. And now the hair, fortunately, doesn't dissolve in water and the skin doesn't either. And you can't understand this unless you know the three-dimensional structure. In Zurich, it is mainly Prion diseases, uh, a mad cow disease, human prion diseases, Kreuzfeld Jakob disease. In the United States, it is primarily G protein coupled receptors. GPCRs are receptors in our body. We have 826 of these, and they do almost everything. Smell, taste, control the heartbeat, adrenaline, everything goes through GPCRs. And therefore, a large number of drugs, about 40% of all prescription drugs, bind to GPCRs. And that's where we work at the moment. In the first place, I would recommend something that they like to do, that is fun for them to do. Even so that even if they work hard, it looks like fun. That's the most important thing. Because as long as it's curiosity driven, you may get important results in any area. Of course, you have to be informed of where a field stands and work at the front. There will be breakthroughs in the ways of ever higher resolution imaging. I mean, we now talk about magnetic resonance techniques. There will be extremely interesting applications of functional magnetic resonance imaging. Um, I, I expect that the next generation will be able to observe proteins in living cells and follow proteins in living cells. There are different parts to my answer. The first is that we both were teaching sports. And she was also an elementary teacher. I was a high school teacher for five years. Five years, that's a long time. See, and then I was teaching ski for 10 years. So I like teaching. 
Now, when it comes to teaching and research, if I think that a uh, high-level university needs researchers to teach their students. Otherwise, the students never get the real feeling for what science is all about. See, going back to sports, I always trained with the best Olympic uh, athletes, always attached to the Federal School of Sports. Only when you are with the best do you learn mm -hmm. and have a chance to get to the top. And therefore, uh, any school that has uh, professors who, I mean, many professors here do not even have a PhD, as I know. Many professors here are not equipped to do research, and I think this must change if Brazil really wants to establish itself as a big player in basic research. And of course you can do it. Look at what you do with building airplanes in many other fields, but the system needs change.